Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKink77.com here to do a video doing a full review of the Jelly Bomb ROM on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy Note 2. This is the first ROM I have installed on my device and I am really liking it. I do have a video showing how to install this ROM. I will link to that in the description of the video if you want to check that out. Uh, but after you install it, you will uh, be greeted right away with a whole entire new theme. Um, my, my man Josh Beach does an amazing job at theming these ROMs. He puts a lot of time and effort into them, so just kind of uh, keep that in mind and be sure to thank him for this ROM. Otherwise, though, right away you are greeted with an option for two launchers, TouchWiz Home, which would be the stock TouchWiz launcher, along with Nova Launcher. Uh, Nova Launcher is themed as well, I do believe. So you got uh, blue icons down there, such as the app drawer button and such. Nova Launcher is just like the AOSP launcher, just with some added tweaks and added settings as well. So you basically get your choice whether you want TouchWiz Home, which would be the default stock one, or the more AOSP style one with the app drawer um, and widgets being separate as opposed to continuous scrolling between apps and widgets. This ROM is based off of the stock TouchWiz build that comes by default. I can go to About Device, which would be LJ1. You can see uh, under Build Number, it also says Jelly Bomb there. It is Android 4.1.1. You can quickly tap on that Android version, and he has themed this little hidden menu. As you can tell, little jelly beans, nice, nice and blue right there. So that's just that hidden menu. If you press and hold on the Home button, you got your recent running apps list. Uh, you got that blue overscroll glow. Icons down here are themed as well. Clear All, Google Now, and Task Manager. So it looks great. As I said, he does an amazing job theming this ROM. You will notice right away, many of these icons are all themed up at the top here of our status bar. It is all themed. We can go ahead and focus in on that. So you will see a blue circle mod battery, blue signal bar icons, blue 3G. I mean, I, this is definitely a ROM if you're a fan of of blue. You can swipe down here up at the top. You will see you've got uh, the time and date, all the basic stock uh, stuff looks wise. Otherwise, it is black and blue though. Uh, you have toggles up here that are different. So you see you have a bunch of new toggles uh, that, which are customizable, which I'll get to in just a second. You can obviously change the uh, the brightness right here. Um, it's got a nice little jelly bean guy uh, going on there. You will also notice um, that when you have a notification, instead of the clear being right below the auto check, it's up in the upper right hand corner to look more like AOSP and that will minimize it, which is great because I always find myself accidentally unchecking the auto brightness check with the clear button right below it. So that's nice that he included that. and. Uh, a nice uh, jelly bomb icon down here at the bottom that does kind of contract and expand when you bring uh, up and down the notification bar. That's actually pretty cool. So just a little neat feature. Nice, nice theme um, with the black and blue. It goes very well together. You also notice in your app drawer, many of these icons are themed. These, this is the default wallpaper, by the way, um, set by default. Here's a default lock screen wallpaper, jelly bomb domination. Uh, so that's just what comes default. You can change it to whatever wallpaper you like. Otherwise, in as I was saying, in the app drawer, many of these icons are all themed. You will notice, I mean, messaging, calendar, calculator, camera, all of these are themed blue, Gmail, um, and not only are the icons themed, the applications themselves are pretty much all themed. Not all of them, but most of them are themed as well. Pandora is themed. It does have YouTube too, which I believe you can download YouTube apps. Uh, straight from YouTube. Um, the Gmail application is themed. You'll see a nice black and blue look to it. Uh, the cal calculator is themed black and blue. Um, I believe the calendar is themed black and blue. Oh, doesn't look like the calendar is themed at all, so um, just one little thing. I mean, again, the messaging application is completely themed as well. We can go ahead and go into that. I can s start up a new uh, message and say, hey, to Google and send hey but you'll see even the keyboard the samsung keyboard is themed here google has texted back so this is what the messaging application looks like black and blue all throughout the messaging application and again samsung keyboard is fully themed you can obviously still use the uh the writing hey with your finger or you can plot your stylus and use that as well hi how are you yeah i'm not even really trying with this so <laughs> i was just kind of scribbling there uh otherwise though uh let's go ahead and check out some other stuff that would be the messaging application there he has added the ability to use the camera while you are on a call so that's kind of nice that uh, that ability is added on stock you cannot use the camera 
while you are on a call. I can open up that camera application and you will see here uh, it is themed. The icons up here are, are all themed. We can go ahead and go into settings. It's got that nice black and blue look. We can take a quick picture. Snaps it right away. You will also notice, what do you know? It's not making any noise while I am taking these pictures because he has removed the camera sound. I believe only if it's on vibrate. I can go ahead and turn the sound on and we can try it again. I believe the camera sound should be back. And it's not. So he's just removed the camera noise, which is great. Uh, nobody likes that camera noise. It gets really annoying when taking pictures. You have a theme dialer. Go into the phone application. You will see nice black and blue look to it as well. And you also, one uh, cool thing, as I was saying earlier, you can customize these shortcuts up at the top. And we, what you need to do is go ahead and go into settings and scroll down and go into display. They are integrated into the display settings. Up at the top, you'll see quick panel settings. And here is where when you select widget buttons, you can choose which icons you want up there. Let's say you don't need sync, you don't need screen timeout, you don't need uh, lock screen, any of those. And those get removed right away. Let's say you don't use Bluetooth either. And you will notice when I pull this down, Bluetooth is all gone. There are no options for those. And you can also change the order of them. Just go to widget button order and you can change whatever order you want and it gets changed right away. Let's say I want sound all the way up at the top. You'll notice the sound option is right there, right away up at the top. So a uh, very cool quick panel settings that you can customize to however you like them. You can also have it where um, the notification panel, when you change one, it will actually hide the notification panel. So that's kind of another neat quick panel settings. And that is integrated into the display settings. There's no separate application for that. So uh, just kind of keep that in mind if you're looking for it. It is directly in the display settings. And of course you do have Google Now, but it is a bit of a theme. It is more of a black and white Google Now. It does work just fine. What's the weather like in Chicago, Illinois? It's 41 degrees and cloudy in Chicago. And you'll see these cars that come up are dark. The background is dark as opposed to white. So that's neat that he has uh, went ahead and themed this Google Now application. You also have, when you press and hold the power button, you have reboot options when you hit restart. Uh, you have reboot, quick reboot, you can go into download or Odin mode, and recovery as well. So quickly going into recovery is always something that is very nice to have. That's about all I wanted to cover though. Uh, you do have uh, ads removed, so he has removed ads from applications and such. That's, that's just about it though. I mean it is, I've been running this since last night and it's very smooth. Battery life uh, has been great so far, so no issues with either of those. Expect just a great smooth experience and you got this awesome theme as well to go along with the performance of this ROM. So again, you'll have to let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to me as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.